with Laurie Joseph, event general manager of Chateau de Versailles, Paris 2024. He's also part of the organizing committee for the Olympic and Paralympic Games. I am so happy to be speaking with you today, Laurie. I want you to talk a little bit about what that job is that you're holding, because you're basically overseeing the equestrian aspects of the Paris Olympic Games. Uh, yes, it's a pleasure to, to meet you and to uh, speak with you about the uh, the equestrian competition that will be hosted in the uh, magnificent uh, Chateau de Versailles. Um, so my role as uh, uh, even general manager is basically to to oversee uh, the whole delivery of the equestrian competition for the Paris 2024 Olympic uh, Games. Um, if I go into more details, uh, I'm in charge of building up the the team and manage the team uh, towards that goal, uh, which is to deliver successful uh, successful competitions. I also oversee the, um, the operational planning, readiness and day-to-day -day operations uh, during the Games. Um, one of my key also mission and responsibilities to manage the budget we have to, uh, to deliver those competitions and to explore and implement different opportunities. Um, I also uh, I'm also in charge of ensuring the proper integration of all the functional areas and key services that will be delivered to uh, athletes, spectators, media, international federations, uh, marketing partners, so all our key stakeholders uh, that help us uh, deliver those uh, competition, including the, the public entities. And finally, I don't know uh, if uh, you are all aware of how we're going to deliver uh, those competitions, but we uh, decided as Paris 2024 to outsource some, um, some part of the organization. So we, uh, we outsource to GL Events and GL Events Equestrian Sport some um, some uh, key components of the delivery, uh, operational responsibilities and sports uh, responsibilities. So my role is also to monitor uh, the contract and be sure that we implement and uh, as we ask and that the to, to monitor the performance of the, the contract. Wow. Well, I, I think the wonderful thing about this is that the Chateau de Versailles Versailles right, is really an incredible place. Started way back when by King Louis the Fourth, and it's really going to be such an exciting thing. So I want you to talk about the venue a little bit for the three different disciplines. So we uh, we decided uh, quite a long time ago because it was uh, during the bid uh, committee it was already there. Uh, and the venue will be in the park of the Chateau de Versailles. So um, it's around 2.53 kilometers away from the Chateau de Versailles on the other side of Le Grand Canal. And in an area we called L'Etoile Royale. So uh, it's like a, a round around with different alleys. Uh, going from there and we're going to build uh, like a 16,000 uh, venue, temporary venue uh, on that place to, to host those uh, uh, competition and um, the different stands and the field of play will be uh, facing the Chateau de Versailles. So it's going to be an amazing uh, venue, one of the iconic uh, site of our concept in Paris 2024. Uh, so I think it will be one of the um, one of the key image uh, of the of the games, and uh, we'll host uh, so dressage, jumping uh, competitions in that uh, temporary venue of uh, sixteen thousand seats, and we'll also have uh, the uh, the eventing and the cross uh, within the park, so over five kilometer uh, track within. The park of the Chateau de Versailles. So it's going to be also beautiful images and 
TV shots that will be wonderful for the for the sport, helping promote uh, equestrian all around the world. I think. How could it not be better, right? To be surrounded by that beautiful park that's just developed over the years by so many, you know, prominent people. It's going to be fabulous. And everything I've read is saying that the equestrian events, because of where the location is, is really going to draw a lot of people. So let's talk about the cross country part of eventing, because that's also going to be there, but not quite at the same location. Yeah, we um, we we are already working on the track for for several months now. Uh, so it's going to be a, a track of a five kilometer within within the park. So the, the course have been uh, has been designed, and uh, the the different uh, works have. I've started, so you can see uh, today when you walk uh, inside the park, you can see the track coming out of the trees uh, of the park. You, we can see some um, some obstacles today, uh, so open ditch and uh, and all the key elements of the cross coming out the trees and uh, the the different alleys where the the horses and the riders will will be in uh, in 24. So. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a challenging uh, course, I think. Uh, but it's uh, I mean it's the Olympic Games, so it it, it has it should be I think. Uh, but uh, we have uh, yeah we have a wonderful uh, setup to 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 organize the the, the cross, and uh, we'll actually be uh, testing part of the of the course and the track on the twenty second of August this year. Um, to show uh, the different delegations what it's going to be, so the, the, they can see and uh, project themselves in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in one year now. So um, we are we are looking forward to to that test to see if all the works we've done today on the track uh, will be a uh, will be uh, successful for us. Now it's along the Grand Canal, so is it? a lot of turns is it very straightforward is it a galloping track do you know anything about that part of it well, i'm not a, an expert in uh, in equestrian but uh, we uh, i've been walking on the on the track uh, uh, lots of times we we go on on site a lot with the with the team um, and uh, i think it's a it's a well balanced uh, track uh, we've got some Really key shots uh, that will be uh, fantastic uh, during, uh, during the games. I don't want to reveal uh, too much of that of that course because it has to be a a little bit of a of a surprise uh, in uh, in 24. But um, there's a yeah, there's a bit of a, of everything uh, for for the for the riders, and I think they will uh, they will enjoy it. Um, but uh, I know that I have people in my team that will be. That would be better than me to to answer those questions uh, precisely, including the course designers or or the one that are preparing the course. Yes, and that's my goal is to actually speak to some of the other people involved, specifically with each of the disciplines. Well, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Do you have any last words you'd like to say? Are there things that people can do, you know, other than watching the games when they you know because they're right there, they're right in the heart of Versailles and the palace and stuff. So. Can they wander through the palace? Can they go around town? You know, we we are very lucky because uh, the Chateau de Versailles is a um, is a very good partner in uh, in delivering those games um, because you know we are using their space and uh, and the park. So we are discussing with them how we can uh, mutualize the event and how we can echo to to each other on you know cultural offer. Uh, so spectators will be uh, it will be possible for them to to enjoy the park uh, after the um, the competition when they go out of the of the venue the park of the Chateau de Versailles will remain open uh, they have every year different uh, spectacles uh, which call les grands eaux uh, and it will still be running during the games so there's a lot of things that will be possible to do for for spectators um especially after uh, the competitions to enjoy the gardens the park of the chateau de versailles and all the city has to to offer especially in versailles but also in uh, in paris 
Well, I want to thank you again. That was fabulous. I am so excited. I mean, I love to tour things and I know there's lots of statues there and there's water, you know, lots of different things that they can see along with the gardens. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I want thank to just you, thank Diana. you. <laughs> and I'm Diana DeRosa reporting for the Equus Television Network. Thank you very much. It was a, it was a pleasure to answer your, your questions. Thank you.